There are three ways to control parameters in Omnisphere, modulation, which we've looked at extensively, and also automation and MIDI learn, which we've touched on and I want to look at a bit more closely in this video. Now, MIDI learn and host automation assignments are saved with the multi when you save your multi, or it's saved with the project when you save the project in your host DAW. And as well, MIDI learn and host automation assignments for Omnisphere can be separately saved and loaded as templates. So if you want to move between different studios or different computers, you can do that. Now let's start by looking at host automation. I've got this little arrangement that we did in last video, and you can automate almost any parameter on any part. And in this video, I'm going to automate one of the effects parameters on the multi, which is kind of an unusual thing to automate. And you can't use modulation to animate parameters at the multi level like this, since modulation is tied to each part. So to animate these parameters, we need to use either automation or MIDI learn. Now I'm going to start by soloing this first part, and I'm going to dial up some aux too. And what I want to do is I want to automate the cutoff value of this envelope filter. And I'm going to go to page two. A lot of these effects units have more than one page and they have a control at the end to move between them. And I want to automate the value of this here. So it's really quite simple. We just need to right click and go enable host automation. Now the parameter is going to be assigned the next available host automation ID number from, and it goes from lowest to highest. And if you're host doesn't show host automation assignments by name, you can use the show current assignments that's under the utility menu to display an overview of everything that's assigned. So under here, we can go show current assignments and it brings up a web browser type of page. Here it is over here and you can see all the automatic assignments for part level and there's cut off at the end that I just assigned with ID number nine, which the rest are used already. So let's go back into our DAW over here and I'm going to enable automation in my DAW and I'm going to select that parameter and under Omnisphere there are the default assignments and you can automate up to 512 parameters and by default it's assigned at the very end which I don't think is a great system but that's the way it is so we got to scroll all the way down to the bottom to 512 and there it is at the bottom cut off. So let's put this into touch mode and record some automation. I'm going to bring back the plugin. All we need to do is move the parameter. And of course, you can easily just draw it in with the mouse as well. But here it is. That's what I've just written in. And we can see the parameter move now. And again, just to remind you, all host automation assignments like this are stored with the multi if you save the multi, and they're also saved with the host project file and can also be saved as a separate template, which we're going to look at in a minute or two. Now let's look at MIDI CC Learn. MIDI Learn allows you to remote control any of these on-screen parameters using a physical controller. In my case, I have a Novation Impulse keyboard, and I'm going to use a knob that's sending out MIDI controller message 25. Now, all we need to do is right click. In this case, I want to control the amount of send going to this aux 2 on part 2. And again, this is in multi mode, which is a little unusual. It's usual that you automate or animate per part parameters, but from time to time, you'll need to do it on a multi level like this. And that's what I want to do in this case. I want to animate the movement of this aux send. Like that. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to go MIDI CC learn. I just then need to move the controller on my keyboard and it'll be assigned. We can also learn inverted, meaning it'll reverse the values. And we can actually use MIDI notes as well. It doesn't have to be knobs or sliders. And we can learn those in inverted or regular fashion as well. Let's go to MIDI CC learn and I'm going to move the knob and there it's assigned. And I have a physical representation of it here. And you can see as I move the knob on my controller, it's moving it here and controlling this parameter. So let's use that to record some movement. And if we look in the DAW, we'll see that there's some automation that I've just recorded. I'm going to just merge it in with that and we can look and see 
the automation data in here. And there's the data that I just recorded, and we can see it move the parameter. Now, a couple of notes about this. Again, like automation, it can be stored with the multi, and it can also be stored within the DAW when you save the project and saved as an individual template. And we can use a single physical controller to pair it with multiple parameters. So I can have that same CC25 control a couple of different aux sends or other parameters if I want. And similarly, we can have a single parameter in Omnisphere be controlled by multiple physical controllers. Now let's look at how all this is managed from under the utility menu. We have in this top field over here, save template, and you'll be prompted with a file dialog box. And that's how you can save a template with all of these MIDI learn and automation learn assignments. We can load the template from there. Now unlearn next MIDI device is used to unlearn the physical knobs assignment. So you select this, then wiggle the knob or slider and it's unlearned. And similarly for next parameter, select this, then mouse the control in Omnisphere and it'll be unlearned that way. Now we have make MIDI learned controls Omni. Now normally Omnisphere is aware of which MIDI channel you're using when you're doing MIDI learn assignments. And when you use this, it's great so that when a sequencer track is changed in your host DAW, all the controls are still active regardless of the incoming MIDI channel assignment. So it makes the channel assignments irrelevant, meaning you can move stuff around in your sequencer and it'll remain learned. Now we have unlearn all MIDI learns, fairly self-explanatory, and we can clone the MIDI learns to all of the other parts. And same thing, we can clone them and make them omni. Show current assignments, we looked at, and that'll bring that up. And we also have under the utility menu here, the option to ignore the assignments when loading the multi. If you wanna to toggle that on or off, you can do that as necessary. So that's automation and MIDI learn, and I'll see you for more in the next video.